Well, city council members and Travis County commissioners broke ground on a massive mile-long underground tunnel Friday morning. Yet the tunnel, known as the Waller Creek Tunnel, will divert floodwaters from Waller Creek underneath the downtown streets via the tunnel into Lady Bird Lake. Could lead to a new wave of massive development in downtown Austin. Let's get the latest live from Reagan Hackleman in the details. Hi, Reagan. Well, hey, Chris, we are here in a parking lot between 4th and 5th Street, right next to I-35. Very soon, this parking lot will be the center of construction for this Waller Creek Tunnel. Now, if you follow me over here, you'll see some of the construction equipment out here. Basically, roughly in this area, the city is going to dig a 26-foot wide hole that will go 70 feet down into the ground. And from there, it's they're going to build dig that tunnel a mile from Waller Creek all the way down to Lady Bird Lake. Now, once the tunnel is completed, complete. It will divert floodwaters from Waller Creek, push them underground, and spit them out into Lady Bird Lake. Now, most of the property along Waller Creek through downtown is in a 100-year floodplain, which limits development. Now, once the tunnel is complete, the property will be taken out of the floodplain and opened up for development. I think this is the catalyst for changing Austin into a great international city because so many things are connected to it. Now, some of those things that Councilmember Cole is talking about is the redevelopment of the Capitol, the Capitol complex, the possibility of putting a medical center downtown near Seton Hospital or Brackenridge Hospital, I should say. And of course, this will affect UT's master plan because Waller Creek does start in UT, runs down all the way to downtown Austin. Now, the project will cost roughly $150 million. Some of the project cost is being covered by the city of Austin, and the rest of it is being covered by uh, is being covered by Travis County. Now, the money will be paid back for this because of the land. When the land around here is redeveloped, the city will take some of that money from the taxes they collect and they will uh, pay, pay themselves back for this project. The city says the land, once it is out of the floodplain, could be worth almost $4 billion. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackleman, KXA and Austin News. All right, Reagan, thank you. And as Reagan mentioned, Waller Creek has a history of flooding in the downtown area. In July of 2005, afternoon thunderstorms brought a lot of rain and nearly swept a woman away in Waller Creek. Firefighters saved her as she held on to a tree. More flooding in March of 2006. Heavy rains turned the walkways into waterways and inconvenience, but luckily no injuries. The floods turned deadly in January of 2007. Fast, hard rain pounded Central Texas. A current swept a woman away into Lady Bird Lake. It took several months to find her body. Again today, the city and county officially kicked off plans to build a tunnel to control the flooding in the Waller Creek area.